Hello and welcome to Fake It Till You Make It, University Battle. I'm your host, Kieran Lee, and I'm joined by our mysterious contestants, Kaylee Bonner, a physics student at the University of York, and Finn McCall Smith, a film student at York St. John University. But one of our contestants is lying and isn't studying the course they say they are. Through our interrogation round and specialist subject round, I will try to identify who's the liar. If I guess the liar correctly, the contestant telling the truth wins. If I guess the liar incorrectly, the liar wins. And our winner will take home our coveted Fake It Till You Make It trophy. Finn, how are you feeling today? Not too bad. Ready to be truthful and honest. Ready to be truthful and honest? Okay, mm -hmm. great. Kaylee? Getting a bit nervous already just being here and I know my yeah. subject like the back of my hand, so... Well, I'm sure you'll both do a great job. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. So, who will win the university battle? St. John or Uni of? Find out in the specialist subject round coming up next. Our contestants will have one minute and 15 seconds to deliver a live demonstration on the specialist subject from the university course. However, one will be lying throughout and it's up to me to find out who. Let's play the specialist subject round. First up is Finn McCall-Smith with a technical demo on camera framing. Finn, your time starts now. Right, so I'm going to try to explain uh, different uh, film frame type uh, determiners. Okay. Um, first would be the distance from the subject. So you can see if I go very, very close up to you, um, we've got an extreme close up here of your eye or it could be of your ear or anything. It's one specific part of um, an object. And then you move further away and that's a close up. Um, and then a little bit further away and you've got a medium close up. These are generally used to put um, a bit of focus on uh, uh, like a specific part of someone for emotional uh, value or something in a in a shot. Mm -hmm. um, then you've got a medium shot and you've got um, a medium long shot as well. Should actually be a bit further uh, back but it's not an ideal demonstration. But that's uh, just your, your regular shots that would be used just to fit everything in frame, just sort of the standard stuff. Uh, and then if I were to move further away, it'd be a long shot and an extreme long shot, which can be used for establishing shots. They can be used um, to show an environment or surroundings of a person or make someone seem small in the frame. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have angling. If you do this, it's a high angle, high above the subject, makes them seem weak and uh, small. Um, or if you do a low angle, they seem powerful, um, a bit bigger than maybe they, maybe they are. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, and then a canted angle would be um, like this. That's sort of used to promote sort of delirium. Okay. In a frame. Yeah. Oh, great. Thank you, Finn. <laughs> Thanks. A very interesting demo there from Finn. But was he telling the truth? Next up is Kaylee Bonner with an intriguing demo on how to measure distance in space. Kaylee. The time starts now. Okay, so when we're measuring distances in space, obviously we can't use metres and miles because we're talking about millions and millions of miles distance. Mm -hmm. So instead we obviously use telescopes. So here I've got an example of a light telescope. Usually the ones that we use in university are radio telescopes. They've got big dishes. Just means that they're able to take a different part of the electromagnetic spectrum, so radio waves. It means that they can travel further distances. Mm -hmm. So when we're looking about distances in space to do with stars, we think about something called parallax. So if I hold this pen up and I close my right eye, and then I close my left eye, to me it looks like the pen's moving, but you can see it's staying exactly the same place yeah. if you want to give that a go. I will do. Um, so we measure the distance from the Earth at one point and then six months later because we know that's how long it takes to orbit the Sun. The distance we use from the Earth to the Sun is an astronomical unit, as you can see here. So this is the position of the Earth and this is the position of the Earth six months later. We've got mm -hmm. the distance from the Earth to the Sun, from the Sun to the Earth, two astronomical units. We're then taking our angle here, which we know is how far the Earth's travelled, and that's how we're able to find out how far the distance of the star is from Earth. OK, great. And I can see that theory in play with this pen. Great. Thank oh. you, Kaylee. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. Very interesting demos from Finn and Kaylee there. Before we decide which of our contestants is the liar, let's begin our final round, the interrogation. I've got two minutes to drill the contestants on how well they truly know themselves and their university course. But one of the contestants will be lying throughout and it's up to me to find out who. There'll be no easy answers in this round. Let's play the interrogation. Finn and Kaylee, our time starts now. So, 
Finn, I'll ask you a question first. You take film, so how much of that is practical to theory? I'd say most of it for this year has actually been practical, which surprised me. It's just been sort of making the scripts or, or experimenting with the cameras. Um, yeah, mainly practical. Mm -hmm. Mainly practical. And is that different to what you did, say, in college? Yeah, definitely. I think the standard is generally to have it um, be more at the written side of things, but that's a lot of what I did during film studies, because mm -hmm. it was less about production. I see. So what modules have you taken this year? Screenwriting, there's been uh, media contexts and debates, there's been uh, live TV as well. We did a live sort of 20 minute broadcast show in the style of Good Morning uh, uh, Britain and stuff like that. Um, yeah, mm. those are the ones that come, come to mind. Come yeah. to mind, yeah. Okay, very interesting. Well, I'll switch over to you, Kaylee. Um, you take physics and what is your specialist subject and why did you decide to take it? Um, so I do physics with astrophysics which means that I've got to take certain modules which are astro based which are basically um, to do with like the lab side of things so I get to use the telescope but there's an astro campus on the other side of the University of York campus um, so I have access to that. Um, my physics tutor in school was called Mr Clouser and he was really good at kind of encouraging people to go off to study physics at university. So I think he kind of started my interest in, in astrophysics, so that's why I decided to, to pursue that. Also, you've only got a minute, so I'm trying to think of something <laughs> that I could explain in a minute, which doesn't take too long, so... Yeah. Okay. Well, that's an in-depth answer. Thank you. Finn, I'll go back to you. Mm -hmm. um, so, why did you decide to take film? Uh, honestly, I just enjoyed it most out of everything that I'd gotten to do in my life up to that point. I enjoyed it at college. Okay, okay. We'll see if I'm convinced. <laughs> so, both contestants have delivered very compelling arguments today, but only one of them is telling the truth, and it's time to find out who. After much consideration, I think that Finn is the liar, and Kaylee is telling the truth. Am I right? You are correct. Okay. No, Great. you're not. I'm the liar. You are a film student. Oh. That's, that means the trophy's mine, right? Wait, so who's the liar? Me. Kaylee. So well, do I okay. win the trophy? Kaylee, here you are. Yay! Well done. <laughs> okay, great. Um, so, Kaylee, you're our winner for today's show. That's all for today, but please join us next time on Fake It Till You Make It.